Hey y'all, welcome to my channel, Just Stuff. Uh, this is a Angus beef roast, and I'm going to stuff this roast. And when I'm done stuffing it and everything, I'll season it, and I'll set it aside for a little while, and I'll come back and show you how the cooking process. But I'm not sure which one of these knives I want to use, but my supporting cast is going to be celery and garlic. and diced yellow onion for now and this is another uh, seasoned homemade seasoned spice that I make I'll go through that later so let's see which knife I'm going to use first okay you want slits like that and you want them deep you want them to go down you want there's my thumb that's how deep I want each of my slits I'm going to slip this rib, this roast. I ain't messing with you no more. All right, about my moment of doom. One more right here. You want, don't want to go all the way through to the bottom. That's one thing you really don't want to do. And thank goodness I didn't. There's a good side of fat on this. So we're good with that. So I got what the one, two, three, four slits there. One. So I'm going to do that one there. And four again here. There we go. Here I'll probably just get two. But that's fine. One. And do this one at an angle this way. And two. And the first thing I'm going to do is wash my hands and I'll be right back. Now I've got this funnel here, and what's in here is onion powder, garlic powder, salt, and black pepper. That's it. And each one of those holes, I'm going to just sprinkle. Just like that. Just like that in each one of those holes. You see people rub spices on meat, you never see them put it in it. So you cook into a, cook a nice roast and all you got is meat. Not this one. Okay. This is the exact same process I used when I do a pro, uh, like a pork loin. I have one of those. Okay. All right, a little in there. Stopping up a little bit. Get down in there. We need you in the meat. All right. I'd say about an eighth a teaspoon, maybe. That one hung up too. That's going to happen. Don't let it discourage you. All right, we're down to the last two, thank goodness. This is taking longer than normal. And I won't be cooking it in this pan, for the record. All right, we got that done. I can set that aside. 
My next little move is going to be, this is the garlic. And the way I do mine is I put a piece of garlic, a piece of celery, a piece of onion, another piece of celery. Generally, that's how I, I follow that rule most of the time. Garlic, celery, onion, and if I can do it right, another piece of celery. It seems tedious to do this, but the end result, y'all, is so good. I mean, it's that flavor that the vegetables, the seasoning I put down in there, all of that's going to pay off in the end. When you, when you cut into this meat, you're gonna have vegetables in every bite, just about, every slice. Uh, and you're looking for that. I mean, this is the way my grandmother always did her roast. And that's how I'm going to do mine. Because there was one thing, you'd go to her house, man, on Christmas, and there'd be a roast. You knew it was going to be a good lunch. The heck with that old dried out baked turkey and over processed cornbread dressing. No, not at her house. You got roast. Or you looked out and you got ham. Now that was a good meal to get at her house. Okay, here we go with the garlic, celery, onion, celery again. Garlic. Celery. Yeah, this one I did the big pocket in over here, so with the garlic. Celery. Okay, I think y'all got the gist of that. Let me finish this and I'll be back in a flash. Okay, I finished stuffing the roast. I've got my pot heated, heating with oil in it right now. And I'm going to braise this roast. But this is what I said, the garlic powder, onion powder, salt, black pepper. Okay, if you want to know the measurements on that, it was uh, two tablespoons of garlic, a tablespoon of onion powder, a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of black pepper. kind of rub it in, but that's, to me, is useless. I'm going to brown this thing. Anyway, I'm glad I got it on the bottom. It's got a good, nice layer of flat. Uh, flat. Yeah, flat, y'all. Fat. Okay. Sorry, I had to wash my hands. As I'm going to drop a piece of onion off into that oil to make sure it's hot. Nope, not hot enough. But I'll, I'll bring y'all down here to where I'm going to be doing my job here. Okay, that's hot enough. So here I'm going to pick y'all up and move you over here. Gotta get to the pot. There's that pot. I just don't want that grease splattering all over my camera. So I'm going to take my roast and I'm putting it fat side down. And I'm going to sear it on that side. And you see the crown on here? I'm not moving that roast for five minutes. The timer says five minutes. I'm starting it. I'll be back in five minutes when I flip it. Because I want that nice and brown. Be back in a few. 
Okay. Well, that's been five minutes. And that's what it looks like. When you let it here in a high flame, that's one shot. Okay, in the meantime, you can turn it all around over so here. This is the pot pot. So this is how this is going to be done. All right. Gotta get my stuff together. Hold on. I'm sorry, y'all. Okay, I'm back. What I'm going to do is add one cup of cold water. To my crock pot. At this point, I'm going to turn it on high. This is a tablespoon. Do y'all remember the uh, homemade brown gravy mix? I'm going to add it just a tablespoon to it. Now, I may have to add more later. I don't know that yet. But I will when the plate is done. And I'm going to whisk that. Now this time it don't have to be perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect to this. Because this is going to cook for about 10, 12 hours. So we got that done. Alright. Now to that star. I'm going to put that little bit of garlic and celery down there in the bottom. And then I'm going to add part of my yellow onion to the bottom of that pot. And he, this right here is green onion. Alright. Got all that taken care of. I think that roast is just about brown. Give me a moment, I'll be right back. I'm going to transfer it to the pot. Okay, the roast is now in that pot. However, what I need now y'all around because I want y'all to see what's going to take place in this part. I hope I don't make y'all dizzy. I'm sorry, y'all. Okay, see how close I can get to that without getting this all over my camera. This is one cup, cup of water, and this is the brown that's off, and this is going to splatter. Oh, bad. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stir that, and I may just get my little Cajun spoon here. Put this over here. Put the Cajun spoon here. And a pot holder. And get all that off the bottom. Oh yeah, so that's going to just enhance the flavor. Now if that's going to take the fire down, because so I want to get this. Definitely get it. All of it. Might not get every smidgen of it, but I'm going to get as much of it as I can. Okay, now I'm going to transfer this to the crock pot, and I'll be right back, y'all. Okay, I have since poured that. We call that au jus. Uh, since poured the au jus into the crock pot with the roast, I'm going to sprinkle the remainder of this green onion and yellow onion. Doesn't really matter where it lands because it's going to cook some more onion. Do that. Another thing as far as cooking is celery. These are celery leaves right here. This right here, celery leaves. That's going all over that roast. You would be surprised at how much flavor that adds to your roast. Okay. But, one thing I failed to mention, I'm flipping that roast. That's fixing to hit the bottom. And we're going, this roast, this is the side of the roast I stuffed. That didn't pop out, that's just a piece that 
was uh, on the bottom. And I'm gonna come back. This is where I slit the roast. And I want that celery all over the top of it. The celery is just gonna get down in there. And it's going to enhance the flavor of that meat greatly. So, that's all I can do at this point. I'm going to cover it. I will cook it on high until it, the gravy starts simmering. I'm kicking it to low and I'm just going to let it cook low and slow. And I will do a second video on what it looks like when it's done. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And please like, subscribe, and share my videos. And by all means, please leave comments. I enjoy them. Thank you and you have a great day.